Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are getting some interesting updates from the guys at Adobe, presently the owners of Substance Painter. And it has to do with Substance Painter now being able to paint UDIMs. Right now you can paint across your UV tiles and this comes with some some spices some spices that you guys would like to know so if you simply go over to the blog post right now there's a couple of questions are you actually painting udims or are you painting multiple uv tiles and the guys at substance are answering you with that they are actually doing both they are doing both in the sense that you can literally paint you know across your udims you can paint across your uv tiles and the way they're looking forward to this is contrary to the typical method of you just painting towards the positive space especially when you're painting within your uvs now they are considering that you can also paint within the negative space and also have something very reasonable happening for you right there so the whole idea for them is they're trying to supercharge your texturing ability so that you'll be able to save time get your project done faster and also increase your functionality while you're working right here in substance painter and to me i think it's just so much joy and it's just very good news to see that udims is finally here as a feature the substance painter now supports now with all of this said if you simply go over to the link which i'm going to put in the description you'd also notice that there are certain things and certain updates that they've also put together they are looking forward to redefine the workflow of how you get to work and they're also trying to make things very fine as they are kind of configuring all of this to fall within a familiar user interface before now we did see something that looked like a preparation for the udims to come in if you remember previously if you're trying to work with substance painter it actually suggests that you should open your udim files as texture sets but right now those things are things of the past as they've gone through to update the settings because once you're about to import you can choose to use uv tile workflow and preserve your uv tile layer material and this is going to enable you painting across the tiles now what happens here is if you have multiple tiles substance painter now has a very interesting method of knowing how many tiles that you have so once you bring in four tiles it actually names it four once you bring the three tiles you get to notice that it labels it three tiles now once you bring in these three tiles it is very intuitive that you can choose to use these tiles the same way you use your default textures the same way you use your default stuff directly in substance painter the only difference here is if you're working on the body if you're working on the head for example with the dragon sample that we have here if you're working on any part of this model you would also see the amount or the number of tiles that you have there some other updates has also been done to the user interface to accommodate some of the changes that we have here and one of them is once you're working and you're trying to mask certain parts what you would need to do is you might actually need to click on the mask button or once you turn that on you can easily go through and select certain parts of your model and mask those parts out now if you're working with udims this is how you get to mask so that you don't paint across the entire thing but regardless of that you can choose to paint across either on the 3d viewport either on the 2d viewport you can simply get things going for the masking once you choose to mask things you cannot paint across this it gives me so much joy to see that they did not just introduce the udims but they also found a work around this that is not going to be totally you know uh, disengaging from the original workflow that persons working with substance painter already knows how to so all of the process that you use while working all of the methods that you use while working they are still preserved as you can simply pick a material, throw that material in and get the material across the entire UDIMS. You can still mask these materials if you want. You can still mask the UDIMS if you want. And when it comes to baking, you can still get your bakes done. And once you're done with your bake, you can still proceed to apply these bakes, you know, and, you know, do practically anything that you want and you might be wondering what if you're trying to paint and you don't want to paint on something and you're masking it and you don't want it to be visible all right there is a brand new button that is somewhere on the top where you can turn that off and you can turn off all of the layers that are you know maxed so once you're painting you don't get to see them and you can also turn those ones on so that you can also get things going 
pretty easy for you and for a tool like this that has come a long way i'm just super excited that the guys at adobe are actually trying as much as they can to make sure that this tool also retains its functionality and also its fidelity in the hands of artists now something else that they also teased out is you can also paint particles across your uv so Contrary to, you know, just painting normal stuff, you can also choose to paint particles and these particles would act as if it is just one unified, you know, UV layout that you're painting and you can go through and paint all of these things. The same thing occurs with generators. If you're trying to play with the generators as well, you can use your traditional generators that you have and you can also paint across. So Udims is here to stay and it's very interesting to see that the guys from substance now have this tool ready if you have any questions about this you can also put that in the comment section i'm gonna put links to all of this in the description so you guys can see a funny thing that i actually noticed is the post says july 20th but this was just tweeted nine hours ago so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace